There is no possibility at this point that Boris Johnson's deadline of 15th September, uh, 15th October rather, will be met. He set that deadline last month, and he very specifically said that a deal needed to be agreed by that date. Now the UK side is kind of walking that back, saying that after today's summit, Boris Johnson will assess whether sufficient progress has been made to justify continuing talks. That's quite different than what he said last month. What the UK side is looking for today from the EU leaders is to A, come up with some compromise on both the level playing field regulatory alignment issue and on fisheries, and B, to specifically spell out what's on offer. The UK side is complaining that the EU still hasn't made clear what level of EU market access the UK would get through this free trade deal, and so they can't really assess whether it would be worth making a, a compromise, which would be politically painful for Boris Johnson, uh, in exchange for this. They say right now it seems like the level of market access could even be lower than what existing free trade agreements with uh, uh, Japan and Canada have. On the EU side, they're saying, look, we've made it very clear what we're offering here. There's really no sign of any splintering of unity among the EU27 and draft conclusions that they prepared for today simply ask Michel Barnier to continue as he's been doing. They kind of ignore Boris Johnson's deadline. So we'll see what Boris Johnson decides tomorrow or Saturday. Dave, there has been speculation that this could be the last in-person council summit uh, due to the coronavirus epidemic. Would, would that make it harder to reach a deal on Brexit? It certainly would. I mean, coronavirus is the giant elephant in the room here. The Polish prime minister won't be in attendance today because he has had possible exposure to coronavirus. He is quarantining. And there's a lot of speculation that this could be the last in-person European Council this year. Uh, the European Parliament has canceled its planned plenary session in Strasbourg next week. They will instead do an entirely virtual plenary session. Uh, so, of course, an, an extraordinary meeting of the European Council would need to be called if Boris Johnson decides to continue continue talks, and if, that's a big if, they can come to an agreement next month, the EU leaders would have to come together in person to discuss that. It's very hard to see how they could do that over video, but by next month, the health situation could make it impossible to meet in person. Same goes for the negotiators themselves. They've been doing in-person negotiations for some time now. They may have to go back to virtual negotiations, and everyone said back when they were doing those that they weren't working, that they couldn't make progress over video calls. So, of course, the coronavirus crisis, as we're seeing numbers go up and really uh, restrictions being tightened across Europe, that makes the prospect of a deal even more slim. Dave, thanks so much for that. Dave Keating, they're reporting for us from Brussels.